Once upon a time, there was a band called Meat Puppets. Some said we were the greatest band ever to come out of Phoenix, Arizona. Most, however, had never even heard of us. Undeterred, we put out a string of albums during the 80s on the seminal LA indie label SST Records. During that time, we went from sounding like this, to this, to this, to this, to this, to this. But all good things come to an end, and when they finally parted ways with SST, the Meat Puppets took their records with them. This is the story of what happened next. Although we took the rights to our records with us, SST never actually relinquished our masters. While we had the original artwork, we were forced to master our reissues from the commercial CDs, and this remains the case today. It may have been all for the better. For all we know, they kept our masters in the trunk of a car somewhere all these years. So we cut our losses and moved on. After grinding it out on a major label for a few years after that, scoring a hit single and a gold record and touring almost non-stop, the band finally went on extended hiatus in 1996. By the time Ryko Disc, the legendary CD-only label, came knocking two years later, the time seemed right for a retrospective, complete with new packaging, previously unreleased material, and extended liner notes. So we sorted through our archive and collected every snippet of tape we could find and culled a short list of extra material. We booked studio time, rented a surprisingly difficult to find half-inch four-track machine, and culled out a healthy bunch of bonus tracks. Each original Ryko disc release came with a bonus video as well, included on a separate data partition. This was back in the pre-Napster days when record companies not only took it for granted, but actually encouraged you to insert your CD into your computer. Either way, most modern computers can't even read that partition anymore, and this is just as well, since the low-resolution videos were the size of a postage stamp. Still, it must have confused later consumers seeing reference in the credits to this phantom content. The post-Napster era Ryko disc is no longer an ongoing concern, and our back catalog has reverted to us once more. This time, we're happy to partner with our old friends at Megaforce Records to bring these classic records back to general release. Megaforce has been a part of the Meat Puppets family for more than a decade, so the choice was really a no-brainer. In addition to cleaning up the packaging, removing the outdated video, and fiddling with little details that only a pack rat would notice, we also decided to release the vinyl editions in as near their original form as we could. This includes the 1981 In A Car EP, which is seeing release on 7-inch vinyl for the first time in decades. The CDs, however, will retain the expanded package and bonus audio. We are also reissuing our 1999 Ryko Disc concert album live in Montana. Originally available on CD only from a CD only label, the new version is vinyl only. After all, Turnabout is fair play. However, we've expanded it to two discs, with the addition of three tracks scheduled for the original release, then deleted at the last minute. Obviously, the Meat Puppets are still going strong well into their fourth decade. Nowadays, reel to reel tape makes for a better mildew collector than it does a recording medium, but it's amazing to think what you could do back in those days with nothing more than a shoestring budget and the exuberance of youth. We recorded our first album in late 1981 and released it the following year, originally as a 45 RPM 12 inch EP, clocking in at just over 20 minutes. That release started a long trend with beautiful cover art by Kirk Kirkwood. We augmented the reissue with our In a Car EP and outtakes from the original album sessions, as well as cuts released on various compilations from the time. It was 1984's Meat Puppets 2, however, that really put us on the map, garnering for us our first mainstream attention, as well as the ensuing unrealistic expectations that dogged us throughout the decade, where we languished on the cusp of contendership, always the bridesmaid, but never the bride. The reissue bonus material includes some of our earliest stabs at mainstream rock in all country. We tried to record our follow-up to Meat Puppets 2 in Phoenix, in a makeshift home studio with a rented multi-track recorder. The machine was sold out from under us, however, before we could finish, but we managed to complete a handful of trippy recordings, which we later stripped down for 1985's Up on the Sun. The reissue's bonus tracks from our home session make for a fascinating comparison with their final versions. With two hit indie albums under our belt, our tour schedule greatly expanded, not only allowing us to pay the rent, but also to invest in better equipment and cooler toys. The rest of the decade saw us blossom both on stage and in the studio. Our recorded output found us employing all sorts of different strategies, trying to perfect our craft. While the psychedelic Out My Way and Mirage lean more heavily on studio invention, Huevos and Monsters took a more immediate muscular approach. The bonus tracks from these releases rely on our prodigious home recordings, which often show our more laid-back and experimental side, at the same time allowing our sense of humor to come more to the fore. By decades end, the Meat Puppets were ready to move on from SST, and when the major labels finally came courting, we'd like to think we didn't disappoint. But that's another story for another time. For now, keep an eye out for these great new releases on Megaforce. Coming soon!